Welcome to Lala Gardens. Lala Gardens is a demonstration garden, permaculture practicing, KNF tech using, <laughs> utilizing uh, resource. And we're going to be sharing a lot of what we do. So we're taking you on a tour. Here's a pit, the fire pit to the left. And that's where I do a lot of my medium um, biochar for the pit style. This is where I do a lot of calcining and also biochar and just straight up cooking and all that. So this is a little bit of um, calcining in, in process. Now you're going to be learning about that in our alchemy class. So make sure that you're tuning in here. I'll look at the pit again. <laughs> um, we're going to head on over to the area where I have uh, my worms. So my vermiculture, this tank, we're actually uh, fermenting urine. So we're going to be doing some side by sides and looking at that as a resource. Uh, this is the JLF, Jadon Liquid Fertilizer, from last year. We've already distributed most of it, but this is a set aside for a little bit of uh, side-by-sides and um, further testing. But see that biofilm on top? We'll be learning about that at a Bokashi class, so make sure you're following me on IG at Lala Grows and YouTube channel Lala Gardens. So we're doing a deep mulch system here with the goats. I've got animal inputs and creating soil. Here's the JLF station. It's about a 100 gallon tub. And when you lift the lid, you've got the mushrooms like on the underside, which is really cool. They came, used that as a substrate, came up and left their spore. So these are living systems. This is uh, my ongoing JLF station that I put all the weeds in from the air. This is how I do my starts. Uh, I do sort of this little bit of a, I don't know, greenhouse in spot, but this is where I, I, this is where our IMO piles were first built, and then once those were moved, this is where I'm uh, planting my seeds for the garden, and then they'll go from here, transplanted a little bit higher, bigger into um, pots that I reuse every year, and then finally into the garden. And then I just keep rotating plants through this. So I'll be teaching this as a system as well. Um, so again, make sure you keep us on, keep an eye on us. Over here is where the pond is going to go, and this is where I did my pit method, biochar, which again I will teach. I think during the alchemy class we'll, you'll get my soil recipe. There's uh, rice char and hemp char and sunflower char all together in there. And then you separate out the things that aren't quite finished and you can do add them again. This is uh, going to be a glamping area, so it's uh, we're going to be doing a lot of building, but that's a wood generated hot tub right there. It gets up to about 120 degrees in about five hours. It's awesome using very little wood. That's a structure we'll be working on for a bee therapy house or some kind of therapy house. These are all modified hugel. Um, I did this um, all the way down the yard. Over to the left we've got my garlic that was in. I've got my IMO, IMO 4 down and it's really beautiful. You can see how the indigenous microorganisms are definitely establishing a relationship with the plants that are there. The garlic's coming up and right at the root base was this just beautiful clump of living mycorrhizal that was just, you know, nesting around this garlic clove. So I thought I'd show that. I didn't even know. We just, there it was. Cool. <laughs> so put it back, tamp it down, move on. We're gonna go down a little further and take a look at the um, compost area that I have. I do like a coal, like I gather up all the weeds over the course of the summer and I'm either gonna put them in the JLF or I'm going to put them into a pile and start building during the summer. So I've got, oop, there's the beautiful skies. A great pause has brought us. I've got clays over there to the right from my garden that I'm working on, getting an IMO that will eat up the clays. This is the compost pile that I'm using my Bokashi in. Um, so facultative anaerobic bacteria, and that's gonna be a separate class completely. We're gonna be exploring the qualities of these anaerobes that break down clay and other kinds of organic matter, but there's this hot pile, smells amazing, and it's just got this amazing um, hypha going through it, and it just, yeah. It's pretty cool, so I'll share some of that as well. And I wanted to share some of my bud. Yes, this is this is what I grow. 
And then um, just a little insight into the types of, this is what I did last year, growing my hemp crop. So this is how I started it out underneath the snow very early in the season and then transplanted them out to the garden. So we'll be looking at that as a whole system.